Hey guys, it's Kurt from Maya Music again. Last video we talked about the factory presets and something called easy mode and professional mode. Uh, what we want to talk about today is how you can change or add sounds. And once you know how to do that, we'll, uh, we'll talk in a separate video about actually saving those to your own user presets. So I started up here with, uh, we're back at easy mode again. Notice up here, easy mode is on. And notice on the right, there's, there's not much over here. And, and that's what we'll point out is when we go into professional mode, you will see that um, additional options are available to us over on the right hand side of the screen. Okay, so now we are in professional mode and notice up here you see PROF and it shows on and down over here on the right hand side you see some additional, uh, we're going to call them buttons even though it's a touch screen, but we're, we're going to refer to them as buttons. So you'll notice we have your upper keyboard, your lower keyboard and your pedals and you see little gray boxes there and the little gray boxes represent um, upper sound one two and three lower one two and three and pedal and you'll see a couple of them are blank some of them have some instruments selected you'll notice some red dots and some other things that don't have red dots what we're going to do is uh, i have set up here i just hit uh, user preset 10 that i set up and you'll notice it's a completely empty preset Okay, so because the, all the sounds are blank, at this point, there's, there's no sounds that will come out of the instrument. Uh, if you look up here, this is the upper manual again. This is upper sound one, and you'll see a small green line around that. What that's really trying to show you is that is the sound that we are going to currently be editing. So we're going to hit sounds here. And up comes a big list, and, and we're just going to pick anything here. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll say Vibrato Choir and hit Enter. And now you notice that Vibrato Choir shows up in the upper manual. And we're now going to touch lower manual. And you notice it has a green line around it, also a volume slider. So you can adjust the volume of that particular sound is what you see here. Uh, that's another one of those little hidden things. You don't, it's not obvious that it's in, in the touch screen, but it really is there. So let's go ahead and hit sounds again, and this time we'll pick strings, and we'll pick uh, solo strings long and hit enter, and you notice that sound has been now set up on uh, the lower manual as voice number one. Okay, so this is where it gets a little more interesting. Remember we said there's upper one, two, and three, and lower one, two, and three. So we would like to add some more of these gray boxes so we can add additional voices. So we're going to pick over, touch, or I shouldn't say pick, we're going to touch sound pool and just drag it right over here. And now we've got an additional voice, which is going to be upper two, I should say sound. Uh, notice the green bar is our green outline again. And if we hit sounds, once again, we'll pick guitars this time and we'll just touch this one. We don't care which one we pick. And now we have upper one and upper two. Notice the red dot. If you touch the red dot, you've now turned off upper voice one and only the guitar would play at this point. If you have the red light on on both of those, then both voices will um, be played. So you can mix and match those as you're, as you're playing along. Rather than setting up a separate preset, you could really just reach up and, and turn guitar on and off as you wanted to. Let me show you one other thing that, that's not obvious here. Um, it, it, in in um, easy mode, you can only have one voice on the pedals. And if you notice here, the blue bar is just a little bit bigger. And sure enough, look, we can drag down and put a second voice on the pedals. So let's go here and we'll pick, uh, who cares, accordion. And we'll pick Steve's harp. And now we're going to touch for the other voice and do the same thing. Sounds. And again, we're not really picking any sounds that go well together. We're just showing you how you can add additional voices. Let's say you want to do the opposite and remove voices. Simply hold the button or the sound, drag it back to the sound pool. So it's exactly the opposite process that you went through to add them. 
instead of uh, dragging from the sound pool to the upper lower manual, we're dragging it from the manual back into the sound pool. Okay, so one thing that's probably pretty important here, which we're going to cover as a separate step, is now that we've created that, it's not really saved anywhere. As long as you don't touch a preset, those sounds will stay just as they are. But if I reach over and pick a different preset, like so, uh, you notice that it changed the sounds. And what we just did in the example of dragging uh, sounds back and forth, that's kind of gone. So that would be the whole idea of setting up what's called a user preset. And again, we'll come back and show you the steps of saving a preset once you've registered all the different sounds that you would like on upper one, two, and three, lower one and two, pedals, etc. Thanks for watching.